So Joel gets to talking about sin on CNN um, and, and, and really sounding like most folks that I've heard when they do talk about it. And most people, when they talk about sin, get into trouble because their focus is on the behavior, focusing on homosexuality, drug dealing, sex, thievery, pride, etc., are all really symptoms of sin. The problem becomes when we create categories and use the phrases like, well, this is what the Bible says. That That's not me talking. I'm just endorsing the Bible, what the Bible says. So the journalist, with good reason, brings up Elton John, you know, which he says is his good friend, Elton John and his, and his partner. And he says, you know, well, he would be pretty mad if you're if he knew you were calling him a sinner, which which presumes that. Okay, Elton John is a sinner, and Joel Osteen isn't. You know, and that's something really to consider because, you know, the the journalist has a good point. So if if Elton is a sinner and going to hell because of his sexual behavior, who then escapes this God-forsaken category? Because if he goes because of sex, then I know I'm going because of my lies, my insensitivity, my sexual behaviors. My associations, my thoughts, my pride, my arrogance, my failure to pray, my lack of Bible reading, you know, and as a matter of fact, I didn't even pay my tithes on Sunday, you know, my neglect of my temple and so on. So, so Elton isn't a great musician, you know, I'm not a person, you know, he's not a man anymore. He's, he doesn't have a heart. He doesn't have a future. And, you know, you know, Joel, of course, tries to make John feel better by saying, well, you know, prideful folks, you know, they fall into this category and liars and thieves. They fall into this category, too. And fornicators, you know, they, hey, they're there, too. Well, my question is to the person doing the categorizing, what category do you fall in? Instead of just saying, you know what, Mr. Journalist, hey, I'm a sinner, too. The bah. Bible says in Romans 3, Romans 3 and 23, that we all have sinned and come short of the glorious law of the Lord. I don't really hear anybody saying that. You know, that's what the Bible says, isn't it? That's not me talking. That's the Bible that we're all sinners. You know, we can go around creating categories for everybody. And then what? Because everybody will fall into some category if we were to take apart everybody's life. Yes, you too. Yes, you listening to this, you the bishop, you the apostle, you whomever, you fall into this category. So when preachers discuss sin, they talk more about the behavior more so than what sin is. And sin is a condition, not a behavior. Drug dealing, fornication, thievery, forgive me for using drug dealing so much, pride, lying, being a negligent father, wishing harm on someone, are symptoms of sin, similar to the cold virus. You know, think about it. The virus attacks the immune system, and the immune system alerts your attention. It lets you know that the immune system is under attack. And when you have a runny nose, you know, a cough, a sore throat, etc., these are the indications that something isn't right with the immune system. You wouldn't have these symptoms if the immune system wasn't under attack by the cold virus. When you take medicine, typically it deals with the symptoms and not the virus itself. Same principles apply with sin. Sin is an attack on your mind because we are not the mind. The mind has to alert us that it is under attack by producing the kind of behavior that we consider sin, like lying, manipulating being prideful. So when you're seeing these things, this is God's brilliant system at work within you, letting you know that you're out of order. You're out of fellowship, the right kind of fellowship with God. You wouldn't have these behaviors if your mind wasn't under attack. I mean, does that make sense? Most of us, when we are attempting to deal with our sin, we take corrective measures that only deal with the symptoms. When we hear about sin, we hear a message that only deals with the symptoms. Well, that day is over, friends. Sin is a condition of the mind. The mind, spirit, is one of the major factors to our behavior. If I am angry, a condition of the mind, I will act angry. If I am happy, a condition of the mind, I will act 
happy. All frames of mind. If I'm selfish, I will act selfish. It is only when the condition of the mind has been restored to its original state, that which is being connected to its creator, we have victory over sin. Let this mind be in you. That was in Christ. Duh. Peace. And get it together.